Hey everybody, Constipated Burrito Cage back with more Let's Play Pikmin 2. Last time we finished the the first six floors of the subterranean complex, and this time we're gonna go delve to floor number seven. Woohoo! Still waiting for that dicky floor. I think it might be this one. I don't know. I, I, I've just been saying that for all of them, you don't know. It's been a while since I played this game, so this, this is a very fun run at it for me. Let's see here. You god. I think it is this one, actually. Yep. We found the dicky floor. Okay. So if you hear in the distance, there's a nyak 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 sound. That is, um, that's an enemy. Oh, good. This one's, like, right close by. And okay, it's right by some bomb rocks. That's not good. That thing right there, the Gatling Groink. Okay. Whew. Didn't kill any with that one. Hey, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Get back here. Get back here, buddy. Um, but it is... Similar to this body bull, boar, bull bear, except it, it attacks with an explosion. Um. Oh god. Oh god. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Damn it. Fucker. God, it just picked a really bad spot to sit in, didn't it? God. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I already lost 10 Pikmin in this fight. Okay, 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 it's dead. It's dead. It's dead. Ah. <sighs> okay, but it's similar to the spotty bull bear, how it recovers HP after it's dead. So, not only have to go through a bitch of killing it once, if you don't carry it back, then it will come back from the dead to kill you again. But... Okay, now that we've lost 10 Pikmin. There's another one somewhere within this cave, but I'm pretty sure it's in a fixed position. Like, it's on top of a little tower thing, so... And that one had the pick, like, the dickiest spot to spawn in, too. It spawned right next to a bunch of bomb rocks. Yeah, see, here's the other one is right here. What makes it a bit more annoying to kill... Oh, seriously? Really, you're doing that to me, game? You're putting it right next to the Dirija bug. This game hates me now. This game just fucking hates me. <sighs> but on the bright side, this whole area of the cave is nice and easy. <laughs> that little spot that doesn't matter. You know what's even worse about that one that that uh Gatling Groink that I killed already? It didn't even have a treasure in it. That's what those are called, by the way, Gatling Groinks. You will learn to hate them if you have if you don't hate them already. And there's an egg over there. Eggs are good. But yeah, I've not found like a good way to kill those things. And I'm really surprised that I still haven't found like any any sprays within eggs yet. That's sort of been annoying me. Like, now would be a good time to find some because of the fact that, uh, I only have one spicy spray left. That I plan on using for the boss. I don't have to use it for the boss, though, because the boss, as intimidating as it is, as scary as it is to fight for the first time, is actually really easy once you know what you're doing and, like, how to beat it, like, easily. And here I go again, just unlocking the whole map, just for fuck's sake. And okay, there's the whole map now. There's actually a sort of cool layout for him, for the map. It's just got a big, a big ring, and then, then just death lays around every corn, every every turn. Let's see, let's see what were the damages though. So lost quite a bit of reds. Only we lost two whites. Shit, that's not good. Um, let's see, I don't think we lost any. I think we lost one blue and we lost three yellows. Okay, but white's gonna stay back at base. I don't want them being part of this battle. Uh, 
Okay. And man, we're down to like no reds. The only th good thing about this that I know is, uh, there's a floor on here as well as having the good harvest in for purples as it has some queen candy pop buds on it. So we're going to actually be able to make good use of those this time though. So let's see here. Let's not pick the side next to the Dorigi bug. And oh my god, that one. That one is like dead already. Wow. That one that went over well, actually. Somehow. Okay, well, let's get that back. And then let's get this guy back. If I can land stuff on its platform. Okay. And sadly 16 is not enough to go take on that other guy. But I think we only lost one Pikmin here. One Pikmin to that one, that's really good. Now see, look how fast this thing has regained health. Like, I pretty much just killed it and it's already at half health again. They, they, the thing about them that's nice though is they will only come back after they're at full health again, so... You don't have to worry about it just popping up while you're carrying it, pretty much. Let's see your... What does that say? Proceeding person system. Okay, another electric thing. The indomitable CPU for 100 monies. And you know we had a good number of monies, but now it's ruined because of that Gatling Groink. Curse you! Okay, but... That Dirigi Bug's gotta go. No, oh, there's... I didn't even see that one there. Okay, let's wait till it moves away from the edge. So that I don't needlessly throw Pikmin off the edge again. Come on. Get into a good spot. You were in a good spot earlier when you were, like, over here. Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Okay. I thought for a second that I had just, like, thrown, like, a big swarm off the edge. But I only threw one off the edge. I guess that that's gonna count as dying in battle. And oh god. Hazard. Ceiling hazard. <laughs> Dick move game. Dick move. Okay. Let's wait at this one. See if anything's gonna fall. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it doesn't start until you actually start carrying it. <sighs> game. You're a dick. Okay, we should be good now, though. And the rest on this one. Okay. I was like, I have four inactive Pikmin somewhere. I was like, nope. There, there they are. Okay, though. Let's see, where's the end? I want to, I have to get off this floor. Okay. But now that we've done this floor, the hardest of this dungeon has passed, and it's all smooth sailing from here on, pretty much. I think. I think. I'm not positive. I think, though. And what is this? What is this? What is this? Apple juice! Twist to open. It's not opening. Thirst activator. 300 monies for treetop apple juice. Yeah. And... Like, right after it, pretty much. We got some... I can't tell what that says. O-V-M-T. Furious Adhesive. 60 monies. Some red tape. Yeah, that tape is furious. <laughs> uh huh. But you did not see that one coming. Huh huh huh. Huh huh huh. I'm so funny. Making my Nazi jokes and stuff. But, on to the next floor. Hey, this is going to be a long recording session for me. Because I've already recorded... This is the sixth episode I'm recording today. And... 
Alright, okay, we made it to a good four. Plus, I still have to do sub- er, I'm doing Frontier Cavern in the same episode, I think. Yay! Safety floor is fun time. There's nothing ha- there's no hazards on this floor. I think the next floor is the last floor, too. But, so we got some Violet Candy Pops. Still no sprays showing up in eggs. Why is Louie Captain? All Amar needs to be Captain. As the, as the beginning intro, the beginning movie said, All Amar is their only employee of any merit. But, uh, this is just such a relaxing, dis this floor is just so relaxing to see. You know? You go through hell on that last floor, and then you come back here, then you come down here, and it's like, ah, paradise. Underground paradise. Well, let's see, what are we gonna do here? Definitely gonna restore some reds. That's gonna be first on our agenda. So, wait for this thing to turn back to red. Just one in, and eight out. Okay, let's see here. There's another queen candy pop, bud. Over here. Right? Yep. And it's red. Quick! I was gonna, like, I swear to god if that turns yellow right now. <laughs> okay, and that's it. That's it for the, that's it for the queen candy pop, buds. Um. Unfortunately, we don't have enough... We don't have enough just reds to, or just blues to transform, so we're going to need the yellow. No. No game. No. That's not what I said. We want the blues. Then we're going to get a red. And then we're going to get a yellow. There we go. No, no, but I threw the one. There we go. And transform! Let's see, that's one. Here's the other one, right? I forget if there's 10 or 15 purples you can get in here. Oh, it's 15. Sick. Okay, I guess the, next, the rest of the transformation is going to be yellow then. Because they've had the least amount of casualties. Bitches. Okay. Because I haven't used them, <laughs> like, at all. I didn't even use them on the floor that had electric hazards in it. Because I didn't have to face any of those hazards. Okay, though. I think that's all for what we can harvest. And if this cave... Once again, if this cave just has, has just defeated you... Then you got some... You got your geyser out of here. Oh. Those ones starting to bud. Let's take him now, though. Alright. Oh, no. That one's a piggy. <laughs> How far will it venture with the A button? Okay, you guys, most of you, you guys can pretty much all share that one. All but one of you. What are you doing back there? You lazy. So I got a piggy and a lazy already. Oh joy. And then I got a slow guy back there. That's not his fault though. Well, it sort of is because he didn't get to the drink fast enough. So that's a nice thing about nice thing about floors like this is that you can if you you've done good up to this point you can come in you can leave with more Pikmin than you came in with. I mean, when when does that seem to happen? That's right, it doesn't seem to happen. Okay. Still got that one purple being all slow still. Okay, let's check, make sure that that's all, all the Pikmin that we have, right? Okay, 
We're back at 97. We're back at where we were after the first floor. But I'm pretty sure that this is the last floor. No, this next one is the last floor. If it is, that's... Ah, that one was late. If it is, that's very nice, because that means... Well, first off, I'm done with the subcave, and... I will only have to go back a few more times. But, yep, this is the last floor. Okay, that's nice. That's good. That was a good thing. Um, but that means that it's all smooth sailing from here. So, let's see. Let's find a safe spot. Because this pretty much this whole floor is a battlefield now. Oh, where's the safe spot? Ah, oh, here's a good safe spot. Behind the wall. Okay, so we're gonna get... Who's gonna be our fighting squad here? It's def definitely gonna be the Reds. Actually, I think I could get away with just the Reds. Hey, look at that, we have more Reds than we came in with. Alright, alright. Okay, yeah, we got just Reds. And all the other guys are gonna stay back here. Alright, stay safe. <coughs> but, the boss is this thing right here. This, like, oven-looking thing. So, let's... Can I swarm right here? I wasn't bothering using the spray yet, because... Okay, so how this thing attacks is it... It shoots you. Um, it has a laser-guided target. But, um, good thing is... Pretty much you can, uh... Let's see here. Can I hit it? No, I gotta wait for it to lower. Fucking seriously. Okay, but if you hide behind any any sort of like bump in the floor, it won't hit. Okay, there we go. Finally, finally hit. See, so even behind this thing, and it won't hit you. Like you can literally be. be below a small bump in the floor and it you'll and it'll miss. But if you don't of course if you don't know that trick, this is like the hardest boss in the game because it'll just like rape your Pikmin. Haha. Uh -huh. Like even if the laser can get to you, then chances are the bullets can't get to you. This is and this is a really weird boss. It's made like a... It's... this Basically, this spider has made a symbiotic relationship with a gun. I mean, this is this is clearly a... a f video game of non-fiction. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh shit. It's taking him out. Okay. Damn, I thought I was safe there. Truly, that is not the safest spot. As long as it doesn't start venturing behind the thing, though. Let's see if I can lure it. If I can find a better safe spot. Okay, this is a good safe spot over here. Come on. Come over to me, dude. I'm over here. Oh, God. It's going on the offensive. This is a good safe spot. I think this boss will show up like another point in this game too. So, when that point happens, you're like, oh yeah, easy boss. It's really, really, you miss. Uh, really, you guys didn't come to the whistle. Really, is not even trying to shoot those ones. Oh no, it took him out already. I mean, this is like the Terminator enemy. <laughs> Okay, let's actually hit it this time. Really? Come on, thing. Stop being such a bick. This thing is... A bick. A dick. This thing is called a man at legs, just so you know. Okay. Get over here, man at legs. Stop standing on top of my safe spot.
Good, we got some on it. Okay. Ha ha ha, you can't hit me. You suck. Ha ha ha. Tra la 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 la. Oh god, there was so more. <laughs> really? Okay. This thing is almost dead, though, so. That's good. Did we kill it? Yeah, we killed it. I see that dying sequence now. Boom! And blew up, and there's a light bulb now. Ding! Light bulb. That mechanized monstrosity is no longer functional. An insect and a machine forming a symbiotic relationship? My forms here are beyond odd. Oh, you, you definitely. Initiating area scan. Glass sphere detected. Really? I didn't notice that. And that makes me think of like the beginning of the Century Zero Zoids anime. It's like, area scanned. Battlefield set up. Ready? Fight! And then they fight. They duke it out. Alright. For 100 money, he's bringing us right up to 70%, the Stellar Orb. This item is incredibly useful. If I combine this glass sphere with the synthetic sun I've been secretly developing... You've been developing a synthetic sun and haven't told anyone? What's wrong with you? Processing complete. I have manufactured a... Solar system. The artificial sunlight in its enemy emanates will brighten underground areas. So yeah. Look at that. Look how bright it is here now. I mean, something you wouldn't even think of until it happens, but then once it happens, it's just like... God. It's like God's gift, pretty much. So, let's escape to the surface. Yay! We're done with this subcave now. But not done with today. <sighs> Lots of monies. Hella monies. 16 treasures, 24 pigmen lost. A moment of silence for them. Okay, moment over. Cave complete. Now we can be happy. Yay! And for as many treasures we were in there, there isn't that much money. Considering we got like six, 16 treasures. But the fact that most of them were under the value of 100 is sort of sad. Okay. So, Frontier Cavern, I guess? 70% of debt recovered. Just think, back only a few episodes ago, we were back at, uh... We only had, like, uh... 50% done. So I guess I'll prepare my party to go into Frontier Cavern. Okay. Let's see this. Two more of you... Let's see, how many of you guys do I need? Some more of you. And then fill in the gap where the blues used to be. And then I think I'll take these guys all up and flowerize them. Because some of the ones that... The uh, veterans from the last cave are not all flowers anymore. And okay, those yolks are gone now. Or those eggs are gone now. But... Yeah, I think we're, we're going to need to spend some time later making up for what we've lost in that that adventure there. And Frontier Cavern's a bitch. Let me tell you that right away. It's a total bitch. So I'm sort of hoping that I'll be finding an A's and whatnot. I hope I'll be finding some sprays because sprays are going to be incredibly useful for it. Especially the boss. I hate the boss so much. It is like the bitchiest boss ever. I mean, one of it. One of the bitchiest bosses. And guess what? It's it's a boss that shows up again later in the game. <laughs> I have a, a white leaf. Look how fast it catches up, though. I mean, it's going like the same speed as like a normal bud would. Definitely faster than the normal leaves, and but not as fast as the flowers. But uh, this episode's sort of long already, so 
I'm just gonna pause here, and next time we'll venture into Frontier Cavern. But until then, if you like what you've seen, please subscribe to my videos, it'd be very much appreciated. Until next time, this has been Consumbeta Burrito Cage. Peace out and have a great day. Bye, people.